মাইক্রোফোন টেস্টিং হ্যালো হ্যালো প্রিয় শিক্ষার্থী আমার শব্দ কি শুনতে পাচ্ছ যদি শব্দ শুনতে পাও তাহলে আমাকে একটা কমেন্ট করো আমার শব্দটা যদি শুনতে পাও তাহলে আমাকে একটা কমেন্ট করো যে আমার শব্দটা শোনা যাচ্ছে প্রিয় শিক্ষার্থী বিন্দু যদি আমার শব্দটা শুনতে পাও তাহলে আমাকে একটা কমেন্ট করো যে আমার শব্দটা শোনা যাচ্ছে প্রিয় শিক্ষার্থী আমাকে একটা কমেন্ট করো যদি শব্দটা শুনতে পাও कमेंट कर হ্যালো মাইক্রোফোন টেস্টিং হ্যালো হ্যাঁ থ্যাংক ইউ সবাইকে থ্যাংক ইউ হ্যাঁ সবাইকে থ্যাংক ইউ রোকসান একটা তারপরে হোসেন একটা সবাই আমাকে কমেন্ট করছে শব্দ শোনা যাচ্ছে থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাছ থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাছ ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ হ্যাঁ আমি একটু অনেকটাই কনফিউজন ছিলাম আসলে আমি শব্দ শুনতে পাচ্ছিলাম কি না এটা সিস্টেমের একটু সমস্যা হয়েছে তো সবাইকে ধন্যবাদ ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস ক্লাসটা আমাদের আবার নতুন করে শুরু হবে তা ক্লাসটা নতুন করে শুরু হওয়ার আগে আমি বলে দিচ্ছি আমাদের যেহেতু শিক্ষা মন্ত্রণালয় থেকে একটা নির্দেশনা আছে আমাদের ইংলিশ ক্লাসগুলো ইংরেজিতে নিতে হবে তাই সেই প্রেক্ষিতে ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস আমাদের কিছু করার নাই আমরা ক্লাসগুলো ইংরেজিতে নিয়ে থাকি এখন যদি তোমরা আমার শব্দটা বা আমার ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজটা আমার ক্লাসটা যদি ভালো করে বুঝে না থাকো আমি অলরেডি নিচে একটা ইউটিউবে ভিডিও দিয়ে দিছি এই ক্লাসটা সম্পূর্ণ বাংলা ভার্সনে তোমরা এই ভিডিওটি দেখে নিতে পারবে যদি কোনো সমস্যা হয় অবশ্যই আমাকে কমেন্টে জানাবে আর এখন আমাদের এই ক্লাসটা হবে সম্পূর্ণ ইংরেজিতে কাজে দুশ্চিন্তার কোনো কারণ নেই তোমরা এই ক্লাসটা ইউটিউব থেকে দেখে নিতে পারবে সম্পূর্ণ বাংলা ভার্সনে এবং চেষ্টা করো কারণ তোমরা যদি ইংলিশ না শুনে না বোঝো তো যখন হায়ার লেভেল উঠবে তখন কি করবে তখন তোমাদের ভার্সিটি কলেজে কিন্তু সম্পূর্ণ ক্লাসগুলো ইংরেজিতে হবে তখন কিন্তু ভয় পালাবে তাই প্রিয় শিক্ষার্থীবৃন্দ ভয় পাওয়ার কোনো কারণ নেই বোঝার চেষ্টা করো আমি খুব ইজি ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজগুলো ইউজ করব হ্যাঁ তা সবাই তোমাকে ধন্যবাদ সবাই সবাইকে ধন্যবাদ কারণ আমাকে অলরেডি কমেন্ট করছে যে হ্যাঁ শুনতে পাচ্ছে সবাই যা প্রিয় শিক্ষার্থীবৃন্দ আমরা ক্লাসটা আবার নতুন করে শুরু করব। আমরা অলরেডি অনেক কথা বলছিলাম আমি কিছুক্ষণ পরে মেসেজ দেখছি যে হ্যাঁ কথা শোনা যাচ্ছে না ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস ওয়েলকাম টু মাই ক্লাস সো থেকে উইস অফ এ রেড রোজ গুড মর্নিং নাও লেট মি ইন্ট্রোডিউস মাই সেলফ আই এম ইউসুফ আবদুল্লাহ হারুন অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট টিচার ইংলিশ বি এম ইউনি স্কুল অ্যান্ড কলেজ আওয়ার টুডে টপিক ইজ ইংলিশ সেকেন্ড পেপার Uh, for class 19 this class is only for 19 students so dear students what are you observing in this picture hmm? try to gauge what i'm sure that already you have observed he is a student he is a little bit confused so why uh, is he confused we are now observing why why he is confused the boy is clever this is sentence so he's trying to understand the boy is not clever or the boy is not foolish which one is correct so he is a little bit confused so dear students I know that if you want to transformation you must have to learn about basic concept of sentence so already I have given you two sentences and I have already changed it but there is a little bit confused which one is correct so for removing our confusion you have to watch the my video already i have uploaded it youtube and you have to take part in my class at the last part so i'm sure that we will be able to understand my class and you have some idea about sentence 
transformation and cloth so dear students let go our today's lesson transformation of sentence basic concept part 1 that means it will be continued so dear students learning outcomes why should we to the class what is the outcome at the end of the class the students will be able to realize what is sentence they able to realize what is sentence after completing the class kinds of sentence they will be able to understand about kinds of sentence they will be able to about clauses in detail difference between sentence and transformation why should they learn transformation they should be able to realize able to write free hand writing able to speak english so dear students let's go next part sentence basic so you must have to know what is sentence at first already you have seen i have given you an a definition a sentence is a group of words which has a subject and finite verb so dear students follow me and be attentive what i say a sentence is a group of words which has a subject and a finite verb so this is very important so now i provide you an example follow it he told me a lie this is one type of sentence so according to definition you have to understand group of words this that means this sentence this sentence is included some group of words here we found subject p so we can say that it is subject and then we have found finite verb as the told so it is finite verb dear students try to understand what is sentence a sentence is a group of words group of words he told me lie he a group of words which has a subject already we have found a subject he and a finite verb already we have found a finite verb told so we can say that this is sentence so dear students mind it deeply when you will get subject and finite verb then you will be uh, sure that this is sentence now i am writing the words they hate the poor next example they it is subject hate is finite verb so we can say that this is sentence according to our definition a sentence is a group of words a group of words already i have found a group of words which has a subject already i found they and a finite verb already i have found a finite verb so i can say that this is sentence now i am writing the word for going to next part types of sentence dear students you have to know about types of sentence number 1 sentence there there are uh, four types of sentence may number 1 functionally number 2 structurally number 3 conditionally and next one other sentences there is included a lot of sentences so i have told here other sentences 
So basically, we have to know types of sentence functionally, structurally, and conditionally. Now I am writing the words and next part. Now I am discussing about functionally. Already you know that functionally there are four types of sentence. Assertive sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative sentence and last one exclamatory sentence. But there is lack of optative sentence. I'm, I know you are thinking the where is optative sentence. <coughs> where is optative sentence? So, dear students, in latest English grammar book, you will not find optative sentence. Only you will get assertive sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative sentence, exclamatory sentence. In latest grammar book, you will not find optative sentence. But someone, someone say that there are four types, five types of sentence, assertive, interrogative, imperative, exclamatory, and optative. So it doesn't matter. You have to know there are four types of functionally sentence, assertive, interrogative, imperative, exclamatory. So this is very important for learning transformation. Now I am discussing a little bit about this type of sentence. How will you know assertive sentence? How will you know? At first, uh, you have to find out what is full stop. What is full stop? If you find full stop at the last part of the sentence, then you will be able to understand this is assertive sentence. Suppose if I write, I go, I go to play. At the last part, I have found a top or full stop. So I can say that this is assertive sentence. Interrogative sentence, how will you recognize? So at the last part, you have to find out note of interrogation. So we can say that this interrogative sentence. I know, dear students, I know already you know it. You have idea. But this is our basic class, basic concept. So I am discussing about it. Imperative sentence. It will be started firstly verb one. Suppose if I write do it, this is imperative sentence. So dear students, mind it, it will be started firstly verb. But here is subject hidden. That means you. It will be hidden. So, dear students, already uh, I have told you how will you know assertive sentence, interrogative sentence, and imperative sentence. Now, I am writing the board. Last part, exclamatory sentence. How will you know exclamatory sentence? At the last part of the sentence, when you will get note of exclamation, then you will be able to understand this is exclamatory sentence. So, I am sure that already you have understood. How will you find assertive sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative sentence, exclamatory sentence? I'm sure you'll be able to understand my topic. Now I'm writing the board. Next part. Sentence. Basic. Structurally. There are three types of sentence according to structurally. Simple sentence, complex sentence, and third one compound sentence. We'll, uh, we will discuss about uh, later on. So now, now I am no uh, discussing about structurally sentence. Okay, what the word? Now let's next part. Conditionally, conditionally sentence. How will you know? There are four types of conditionally sentence. Number one, first conditional. Number two, second conditional. Number three, third conditional sentence. 
and number four zero conditional sentence there are four types of conditional sentence first second third and zero conditional sentence dear students now i shall discuss about first conditional second third and zero conditional sentence so try to understand what it says how will you know first conditional sentence how will you know if you want to know first conditional sentence you must have to remember this structure if present tense plus future tense if there is one kind of conjunction so how will you know first conditional sentence so follow the example already i have given you an example if you want i shall help you dear students follow it already i have found a conjunction if and you want this is present tense and next one i shall help you this is future indefinite tense already you know after subject when you will get will and shall then you will be sure that this is future indefinite tense so already i found it subject will shall modal verb or you can say auxiliary verb and after that helps main verb so according this structure i can say that this is first conditional sentence so this is very important for doing transformation that means simple complex compound sentence so you must have to know so dear students let's see another example if you play in the rain you will catch cold already we have found conjunction you play in the rain this is present indefinite tense you will catch cold this is future indefinite tense that means according this structure i found all things so i can say that this is past conditional sentence so dear students i am sure that now it is clear to you how will you know how will you recognize what is past conditional sentence now i am writing the word now let's go next part how will you know second conditional sentence how will you know for that you have to know this structure e plus past tense plus past conditional dear students what is past conditional now i am discussing about that could could might it is called past conditional now it is clear to you what is past conditional could could might when you will find if past tense and last part past conditional then you will be able to understand this is second conditional sentence now i am providing you an example if you want that i would help you dear yes, students already i have found at first if if there is conjunction you wanted it is past indefinite tense and next part i would help you already i have found conditional sentence past conditional when you will found this type of condition that you can say that it is second conditional sentence so dear students now i am providing you next example if you played in the rain you would catch cold dear students follow it you played this is past indefinite tense would already conditional already i have found conditional so i can say that 
this sentence is second conditional sentence so dear students now it is clear to you how will you find second conditional sentence if you uh, want to find second conditional sentence you must have to remember this structure so you can find out easily second conditional sentence okay now i am going to next part how will you know third conditional sentence dear students for that you have to know this structure if past perfect tense perfect conditional what is past perfect tense you have to know this structure already you know yet i am discussing have sorry hat plus verb 3 when you will find these things then you will be able to understand this is past perfect tense perfect conditional what is perfect conditional in previous class already i have learned what is conditional that means suit would might when you will find after them have could have would have could have might have then you will be able to understand it is called perfect conditional so dear students if you find out if you want if you try uh, to find out third conditional sentence you must have to memorize this structure now i am providing you an example following it example if you had wanted i would have helped you so Dear students, follow me. Already, it is called past perfect because I have got a subject and auxiliary verb had and main verb wanted. So, according this structure, I can say this is past perfect tense. And last sentence already I have found would have. That means it is perfect conditional symbol. So we can easily say that this is third conditional sentence. Now let's see another example. If you had played in the rain, you would have caught cold. Already this is past perfect tense. And last sentence already you have found perfect conditional would have. So you can say easily this is third conditional sentence so dear students i am sure that already you have gotten some basic idea about first second and third conditional sentence now let's part how will you know zero conditional sentence dear students how will you know at first you have to remember this structure is present that means present tense again you will find present tense or you can see if plus past plus past tense now I'm now I am discussing about that the attentive and try to understand e plus present present that means this structure already I have written here e plus present present how will you know they are students I have given you an example if you mix blue and red you get purple here you see you mix blue and red you mix this is present tense this is present you get so this is also present when you will find both of them present present then you will understand that 
this is zero conditional sentence because already I found mix present form this is present form this verb is present form get this is also present form so I can say according this structure this is zero conditional sentence now I shall give you another example e plus 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 how will you know zero conditional sentence this is other condition follow if we ask her to come with us she always said no dear students you will find here ask this is past form that means verb to in this sentence say it it is also verb to so according this structure you can easily say that this is zero conditional sentence because already I have found all things according this structure so dear students now you have some basic concept about conditional sentence first conditional second conditional third conditional and zero conditional sentence so dear students I am wearing the board and try to go next part dear students Transformation of sentence. Why we should learn transformation of sentence? So for that you have to know some basic concept. Transformation of sentence it changes into two ways. Transformation of a sentence. Dear students, mind it deeply. What I say, it changes in two ways. Number one, transformation of sentence. And number two, conversation of sentence. So now we have to learn about transformation. Now I am discussing about transformation of sentence. How will you know this is transformation of sentence? Dear students, for starting first class, I have shown you a picture. The student is already confused. Already I have shown you this picture. So, try to understand. Transformation of sentence and conversation of sentence. What are they? Dear students, what is transformation of sentence? What? And why should you learn transformation of sentence? Dear students, Read out the definition. The transformation of sentence means the change of a sentence. The transformation of sentence means the change of a sentence from one form to another without any changing of meaning. That means this line is very important for you. This line is very important for you, dear students. Try to understand. I'm telling you again the transformation of sentence means the change of sentence from one form to another but this quotation is very important without any change of meaning that means you can't change word meaning so dear students now I'm giving you an example and follow it dear students already I have provided you a sentence the boy is clever when you will change into transformation then it it will be the boy is not foolish I have given you this sentence the boy is clever but when you change it the boy is not foolish then it has been transformation because without any change of meaning I don't change here any meaning 
so I can say that this is transformation. Next example, we must die. It will be transformation, we cannot but die. So dear students, this is sentence, we must die. When I transformed it, then it has been, we cannot but die. That means, without any change of meaning, I have changed it. So I can say that this is transformation. So you must have to remember these things without any change of meaning. So this is the difference between conversation of sentence. So what is conversation of sentence? Now I am discussing about that. Conversation of sentence means the conversation of sentence means the sentence of a sentence from one form to another. But this is very important with the change of meaning. That means you can change the meaning. So it is conversation of sentence. Now I am giving you an example. Follow it and try to understand what I say. Dear students, the boy is clever. This is sentence, when you will change it, conversation, then it will be the boy is not clever. That means already I have changed its meaning with the change of meaning. We must die when you change it, conversation, we must not die. That means I have changed its meaning. So dear students, Already you have understood what is transformation and conversation. If I go back side, then you will be able to understand that the boy is not foolish. When I changed it transformed, that means there is no change of meaning. So this is very important. So for that you have to learn transformation of sentence. I hope that you have understood. Now I am going to next part. A structurally sentence that means simple, complex, compound. What should you know for learning simple, complex, compound sentence? What should you learn? What should you know? So this is very important. Yes, students. If you want to learn simple, complex, compound in a properly way, you must have to have basic idea about clothes, conjunction, connector, or linker. You have to you must have to have this idea. If you acquire this idea, then you will be able to change simple, complex, and compound sentence. So for that, I am discussing about basic concept of sentence. Now I am writing the word and let's go the next part. A structurally sentence, simple complex compound. At first you have to know what is clothes. Dear students, clothes, that means its pronunciation, clothes. Clothes. And C L O S E. Its pronunciation will be Cloud. So you have to follow Bangla Academy Dictionary for right pronunciation. So its pronunciation close and its pronunciation close. 
However, dear students, at first you have to know about clothes. What is clothes? A clothes is a group of words having a subject and a finite verb. Or you can say this definition. Another way, a clause is a group of words containing a subject and a predicate. Now I am discussing about that. Already you will see an example. Mr. Ali has a booming business. What is the meaning booming? Booming means Rom Roma. Mr. Ali has a booming business. In this sentence, I found that Mr. Ali subject and has a booming business. It is predicate part. Predicate. Dear students, follow this definition. A clause is a group of words. Already you have found a group of words containing a subject. Already I have found a subject, Mr. Ali. And a predicate. Predicate will be started from verb. And last part, till last part, it is called predicate. So I am sure you have understood. According to this definition, a clause is a group of words having a subject and finite verb. Already I have gotten Mr. Ali subject and has finite verb. So according this definition, I can say that this is one type of clause. So next example, try to understand. This table is made of wood. Dear students, this table, this table here is subject and is finite verb. So from finite verb till last part, you can say this is predicate. When you will get subject and predicate, then you will be able to understand this is closed. Let's see another example. If I see it, honesty is a great moral quality. Honesty here is subject, is finite verb. So from here you can say this is predicate. So dear students, according to definition, already I have provided two definitions, number one and number two. According to definition, you will be able to understand how will you recognize clothes. If you want to find out clothes, you must have to find out subject and finite verb or if you have to you have to find out subject and predicate so this is the same thing you have to try to understand it so this is basic idea concept about clothes now i am writing the words and next part dear students already i have discussed about clothes there are two important elements clothes number one subject and number two, predicate. Now let's see some example. Mr. Ali, here is subject. Predicate has a booming business. This is finite verb. From finite verb, at the last part, you can say this is predicate. Next example. This table, it is subject, is made of wood predicate because already you have found finite verb is. Dear student, when you will get finite verb from finite verb till last part, it is called predicate. Next example. 
honesty subject is a great moral quality it is predicate so dear students now i am sure that already you have composed of some idea about clothes and already you have understood there are two important elements number one subject and number two predicate so this is very important if you want to learn simple complex and compound sentence so this is very important now i am writing the board see lec next part this lecture to be continued so wait for the next class dear students i have provided you some home tax you will get this home tax below my post after completing the class i shall provide it you must have to find out conditional sentence already i have given you 10 examples you have to find out which one is first conditional second conditional third conditional and zero conditional sentence after completing my classes i will provide it below my post dear students again i can say that if you don't understand in the properly way my class so you can visit youtube already i have provided a video on youtube channel so you can see it this lecture is fully bangla so dear students always try to stay home and try to save and pray for me thank you